All right, hello everybody and welcome back to Train Brothers Railway. Today we're going to be making some tunnel portals. So we're at the point of the layout now where we are going to be starting to add more of the details. And tunnel portals are definitely one of the things that we want because it'll hide the uh, PVC pipe that we've used for the tunnel. So I was able to get my hands on these laths from like the lath plaster in old houses. Just a little bit there. Um, well, these are what I'm going to use to make my tunnel portal because these are kind of like it's the rough distressed look and I think it'll look really good as a portal. Um, so for the past several minutes I've been pulling nails. I had to pull all the nails because I'll be cutting these down to size and it's never good to cut through a nail especially with like a pull down saw or a chop saw. So I'm going to start cutting everything to length. So instead of measuring and cutting every single one I installed a stop block with a clamp at exactly two and a half inches from the blade. It makes life so much easier because you don't have to measure and cut every single one of them. So, so far we have our uprights cut to two and a half inches. We have 12 and a half wide, seven inches across, and nine inches high. That's the, our tallest train. So we have that, but I want to trim it. So we're gonna, I've cut strips that are five eighths of an inch thick of the same, th same lath. And we're gonna put it on each side, one for the top, and then we're going to do the inner part and then probably some angle braces. But to make this look proper, this side here, I think you can see that. I'll put it against here. This side here, I've ripped with the table saw. This side is still natural. So I want the natural edge covering up the cut edge of all the uprights. So it looks natural and looks like it's been there for a hundred years. So. Let's cut these all up and uh, then we'll nail it together. So we have all the pieces of the trim laid out. I got some angle braces I cut for all of them and then the trim parts. I left this purposely long because that's what's going to stick into the ballast or the stone in the railway. And for fastening all this down, I'm going to use 18 gauge, 5 eighths of an inch long brad nail and some regular old carpenter's glue and then I'm just going to nail it on and it will attach all these together to make the portal. Well, there you have it. It's all glued together, all nailed together. I think it looks pretty good too. So I probably will put a clear coat on this just to protect it from graying out because I do like the brown. But other than that, it's ready to go and ready for ha trains to be run through it. I think it looks really good. It's much better than the PVC pipe. Well guys, if you liked this video, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel. I honestly hate self-promoting, but to grow the channel you kind of have to i'll be humble there and uh until next time take care take it easy and uh, keep it on the rails